Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Do you like launchers? I know I do, and after the intro, we'll check out some of the best third-party launchers for Android. First on our list is 91 Launcher. This fun and simple launcher offers a smooth experience, even if it's a little more simple than most. While many can get deep into customizations, 91 Launcher sticks with the basics. Good widgets, good wallpapers, and good themes. Don't let the simplicity fool you. 91 Launcher has many of the theming and customization options that people like, such as transition animations. It just doesn't get ridiculous with it. So if you're looking for a superior launcher without all the bells and whistles, this one is worth looking at. Apex Launcher has been around for a while, and it's because it's a really good and popular launcher. Unlike 91 Launcher, Apex comes packed to the gills with features and customizations for everything from the app drawer to the home screens and even themes, icon packs, and transition animations. It's optimized for both phones and tablets, as are most of these launchers, so it doesn't really matter where you use it. It's optimized for both phones and tablets, as are most of these launchers, so it doesn't really matter what you use it on. It's an overall positive experience with smooth performance and a lot of customization. Sadly, some of the more fun features are in the paid version, but that that really shouldn't surprise anyone. Go Launcher is the most downloaded launcher on this list. This is likely because it's free, but it could also have something to do with how awesome it is. It's jam-packed full of features and can be added to with a seemingly endless supply of add-ons. It has solid performance, but you really can't appreciate Go Launcher until it's entirely set up. The bad part is that setting it up can take forever as there are themes, customization features, and add-ons aplenty. If you like more options than most sane people, then give Go Launcher a shot. One of the most dependable and generally well-liked launchers is Nova Launcher. Like most on this list, it supports a lot of features, themes, and customization, so if you like eye candy, and really, who doesn't like eye candy, Nova Launcher has plenty of it. Perhaps its funnest features are for the widgets. You can put any 1x1 one one widget in the dock and even overlap your widgets to conserve space or create widget collages for even more eye candy goodness. Aside from that, it runs really smooth and people generally like it. Smart Launcher Pro is different from the other launchers on this list. Instead of keeping to the Android aesthetic, it instead goes with its own thing. Unlike most launchers that try to go with their own things, people have responded to Smart Launcher Pro with praise. You start on a single home screen with shortcuts arranged in a circle. You can make these shortcuts open whatever app you want so you can get to your frequently used apps rather quickly. From there, you can access a modified app drawer and a three home screen layout for all of your widget needs. If you take a look at our leaderboard, you can see how all these apps rank up against one another. Keep in mind that this is how you rated them, not us, and there is no bias on our part. If you want to try them out for yourself, the app links are in the video description. Launchers are interesting because everyone has a different definition of what a good one should do. With that in mind, we have a few honorary mentions to this list, and they include ADW Launcher, Launcher 7, Launcher 8, Next Launcher, Easy Launcher, Chameleon Launcher, and Big Launcher. If there's a particularly good launcher that we haven't mentioned yet, but we really should have, feel free to comment below and tell us about it. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media links in the video description.